Mellow greetings, Tubians. We are back, back, back and heading into Hisui once more. Just wanted to take a moment to stop and admire this gorgeous new splash screen now that we have the weird and funky sky. Really looking forward to seeing what happens in today's story. After some consideration over the last day or so, and while I've been editing together the bonus episodes for all those rare catches, I have decided that I'm going to go with my inkling and head off with the Diamond Clan. At the moment, I'm not certain if I can actually continue with the rare captures that I need to do. Um, I'm up to a point where pretty much all of them are in space-time distortions. And I don't know if I can get to those, given that at the moment my belief is that we are in a space-time distortion for the entire country of Hisui. Uh, I am just grabbing my usual mats on our way up. The quest marker tells us to go meet Liam, or Lian. I never did work out how to pronounce it. Um, or that we can speak to Mai. Now, Mai is the one that we need for the Diamond Clan. I should be grabbing those tumble stones. Eh, uh, I'll do it later. Ah, oh, cute little star of these. Everything looks wrong, colouring wise, because of the change to the sky. So, it's really hard to judge what is and isn't just normal. But that's okay, we're working around that. Um, I'm hoping that Maya will either be with Leon or Leon, um, or will show up while we're talking to him because, oh, somebody's satchel. Interesting place to die, Andy. Ah, uh, probably the Bavario, gotcha. Okay, that's alright, we're all good. Um, because, yeah, I, I definitely am leaning more diamond than pearl. Again, that's because I started with Diamond in Gen 4, back in the old days. And across we go, and dodge that Wurmple, and let's go over here to where the path actually is. Dismount. Should I drop a save? Nah, let's just go with it. What are the odds that I'm going to have to fight something? I suspect that this is going to be a really talky episode. Hey, Leon. How's Cleaver? Doing good? It's been a while. You? What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift! If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Nasui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I'm sorry. I should have known the only thing that would come from that rift was disaster. You're very old in your wedding. Never mind then. Is that really all you came to say? Look, you needn't try and put on a brave face. You've been a help to the Pearl Clan, and we know what kind of person you are. Though, it must be said, for every sympathetic ear you might find there, you may also find a detractor who fears your presence. Which camp do you fall in? I truly do wish I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that. But there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Asui there is a place for you as well. Okay, so that kicks us off to my... I wonder if that would have happened if we'd said the other option. Sneasels, thank you. Keep going, thank you. Still got to find the rest of the wisps. That's okay, Ronan, we are all good here. Let's pick up this bit of wood. I should switch mounts, but... I feel like I'm going to need climbing more than speed right now. Except for the trees. There's always trees. Off! Thank you. Your obsession with climbing things, Sneasler, is sometimes problematic. As adorable as you are. I could just jump off the cliff. Braviary down to the water. Right, that's it. We're jumping off the cliff. And we're swimming the rest of the way. What is that? Oh. 
For some reason, the top says Magikarp's are green. It's color. Oh, it's because I'm kicking up green water. Right. Why am I kicking up green water? The rift did kind of get big, didn't it? Looks fairly on the side of Funky. We fell through that. It feels like so long ago at the start of the game. It's. I know it's been a good 50 or 60 hours since we actually started. It, it just... Uh, it feels like more. Alright, Sneasler, stay away from the feckin' trees. Thank you. That is not Warden Mai. Is it? May was the old one. May Mai? Mai. Mai Mai, what a frightful sky. No, okay, that is you. Who was the little old lady? Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what board is about, do you? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weird Ear took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but... Forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Wait, what? But I wanted to join the Diamond Clan. Am I just going to throw myself off a waterfall? Yo, God. If you ever going to call me, now's the time. Grr. Oh, hey, Shinx. You're adorable. Shouldn't you be attacking me? You normally are. Ah, uh, we're in a pair of Luxios. Is that mum and dad? Hey, Volo. I recognize those boots. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Found you at last, Renantia. You are still sus, dude. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I have to do if I lost one of my favourite customers? I have never purchased a thing off you. Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems like you're in quite a pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry. There are still corners of the Hisui region where you can s we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that'll be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. You are so sus. Also, what happened to your nose? Here we are. I know, I know, it's no palace. But you know the saying about beggars and choosers. This is pretty. Shaking your work to come pester me again? Even beneath a bleeding sky, you'll never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. Kogaita? But I'm afraid I'm not here to learn more of Hisui's myths and legends. No mistress, thank you. Just Kogaita. And this is... Why, Ronan Tear is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of. Lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. 
It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Judy? Indeed. I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in, in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. That's dramatic. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There is much to be told. Thanks, follow. Nice tent. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells Almighty Sinnoh. Are you any relation to Cynthia? The expanse from antiquity to eternity, and the expanse to all sides, above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here and now into the future. While space yawns all encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? They really can't. They're inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one. Here is what you must do. Kasui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one of the aspects of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. Ha! <laughs> ha! Okay, I'm going to pause there. For anybody who hasn't played the Generation 4 games, so Diamond Pearl, Platinum, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl for the remakes, the red chain is actually a pivotal quest item within that that goes to your end game right before our evil member of the leader of Team Galactic, uh, by the name of Cirrus, or Cyrus, uh, attempts to implode the world and recreate it in his own image because he's, well, he's sick of this shit and just wants to do his stuff. So, nice to see it being repeated here. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? Y you mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words, and what they bid us to do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors, to leave their legends to children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But, here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course! That's kind of what I do. Hero is my middle name. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Uh, I've got the locations of the lakes. I already knew where they were, but thank you. Mistress Kogit has got a lovely workbench here. If you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? Ah, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that, indeed? Ah, but what was that cry? Have we now lost a Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Is there an Abra that's just going to teleport my Pokemon backwards and forwards to me? That would be kind of cool. Off we go. There is an Abra that's going to teleport my Pokemon to me. <laughs> hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? Hi. And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Rodentia. To Rodentia, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. 
I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. Ah, uh, thanks, Cap. I have every confidence in your ability as an adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Expedition Team. Wicked! Good tidings from the letter, then? That's right! Now then, so we're to visit three lakes. We? We are to visit? It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. And it sure be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, opportunist aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. Hey, guys. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all's quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would go strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention. So it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Although the answers should be obvious. Oh, okay. Alright, so I think this is the point where I choose... Can I just talk to Volu? Alright, we're going to drop a save here. Because I'm, I'm going to go with Adamin. Mostly because... I like Adam and, and I like the Diamond Clan, and I really should turn in that parcel I found. Not that the merit points do me any good at the second, but I will need them later. Obviously, you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestica flute in the first place? That's right, this strapping young man. Let me think it over. Of course you'll choose me. I was the one who got you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleaver. You and I made his bombs together. Let me think it over. Sorry, Erida, but... Yeah, I choose you. Thought so. You can count on me. So then the leftover leader will... Leftover? I'm not someone's scraps. I'll keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Thank you, Irida. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to go to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. What's this us business, Volo? When did you join my party? Well, the first task will be to decide which of Hisui's three great lakes to visit first. Right, and we better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever you, we decide to go. We'd be in hot water if we were seen travelling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adaman. Don't cause Ronan here more trouble. Trail of Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. Alright, so... Obsidian Fieldlands, Crimson Mylands, or Alabaster Islands. We're going to go with Verity first. Uh, nope, think I'm good. Workbench. Oh, and a crafty box. Excellent. I never did... Did he not take... No, I had six. Okay, we're good. We are good. Now, just in case I have to quell and catch things, and make myself some more sticky globs. Make 20. That's almost all of my balls of mud. We've got 68 Pokeballs, 18 Wing, 50 Ultra, 16 Feather, and some Berries. We should be right for any challenge. Let's just check that the team is all present and accounted for. Yep, yep, yep. All looking good. And I've got 31 Revives, so... Let's get this party rolling. Hey, Adaman. So where are we headed? We are headed to Lake Verity. Uh, we're going to go to the Fieldlands camp. Uh, 
Hi guys. Wrong. Thank you. Let's grab that now. Map. Lake Verity is where we want to be. So that is that way. Again, I should be collecting items, but I'm really eager now just to see the end of our story. I figure, depending on this trial, we should, just a regular wormhole, be able to clear Lake Verity today. We'll probably be doing the other two lakes on Friday. Up you go, Sneasel. I'm not sure I've ever been up here. Not sure I realised up here was a thing. Uh, I probably have. We are going to go over to that entrance for Lake Verity, just in case it triggers any other things for us. Please just ignore me, guys. I'm just running on through, no need to zap me. I'm here to save the world. Which means that you want to be really nice to me, because I'm doing this for you. Ah, there's that Toki kiss that we caught. Did I do that in the main, or is that part of the bonus stuff? There's a Staravia up here too. Possibly should have used the token kiss, but ah, I'm happy with my team. Got coverage for most stuff. Hi guys, don't mind me. I'm just swimming. Hello lads. Can I get past you? Yes. But Okay. Sometimes there's a um unknown hiding back here. I wanted to see if it was. Alright, so how do I get into this giant rock, folks? They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so, Lake Verity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that the people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Well, that's how the old tales go anyway. Mesprit being the Pokemon of emotion. Message for you. Okay, my phone has more powers than messaging. Handy. That that cave, it it just appeared from nowhere. I, is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? Let's do this, Ronitier. Mistress Kigita seemed to have quite seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. When have I ever been faint of heart? There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. That's why I wanted you to see it, Adamant. Very sad looking Gudra. An alpha sad looking Gudra. Trounce that thing, Ronin Tear. Prove to the Pokemon of the lake how strong you are. But I, I don't want to trounce it. I just want to help it. It looks sad. Now it looks like it's smiling. Maybe it wants to fight. Can I catch you? Or do I have to beat you? Ah, 
uh, the um, patterning on the floor is the same as what it was in Diamond Appel. Holy mother of a ravenous aardvark. How did you do that to a fairy type? I wasn't paying attention. It's too busy looking at the floor. Oh, because you're part poisoned. I am an idiot. Sorry, Adam. Mama just wasn't thinking clearly. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, we're down to half. Really, can I just catch you? Why are you walking closer? We're gonna get in trouble for trying to catch you? Alright, we'll just murder you. Fine. You're fine, Roman. You're tougher than this. You're still good, Roman. We'll throw a heal on you. As long as it doesn't agile style again, we'll be fine. There we go. Look at that. We got this. Oh, and we get two goats. Down it goes. I would have preferred to have caught you, Gudra. I think it would have shown more compassion if I did. Mesprit doesn't feel like it'd have won a fight. That's the way, Ronan Tia. I can tell by watching you and the Pokemon you've caught in those little balls truly understand one another. Now let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence. Oh, hi! Oh, first things first. Adam. One of those for you. One of these for you, Roman. One of these for you, Adam. Roman will throw a super potion at you as well. There you go. Probably could have used a regular potion, but... Hello, Mesprit. Your emotions. Share them with me. They are yours. So it speaks from its mind straight to yours? Makes sense for a Pokemon that a body is an aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Heartening. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? We're all so different. What did you feel when you, you when cast out of the Galaxy team? Life is complicated. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Can I come back and catch you later? Should be a red bead. No, it looks like a letter. Mesprit's plume. Okay. Do I get to catch you? That's alright, I'll do so in about three, four hundred years, thousand years. I'm not sure what the time difference is. I can't even imagine what that must feel like. Having a Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, the world is full of mysteries, I guess. I can hardly even be surprised at things like these after seeing the sky itself so warped. Now we've two lakes left to visit. And soggy boots.
Is there anything else of interest in here? Nope. Alright. We might actually get the legs done today. Hey, Volo. Looks like that worked out well, Ronan, to you. Gotta admit, you sure know plenty about Hisui, Volo. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I... I've said it before in previous episodes, I'm sticking with it now. Volo is the human embodiment of Arceus. Some sort of avatar thing going on. I want to know what ex know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. I think we'd all like some answers on that. I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. I've even got some question about its true nature. Weighty matters to ponder, for sure. But we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kagito's home? Let's go back. Alright, so that's going to act like my village point. Perfect! I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Do we get stars for this? i going to increase my galaxy rank, man. Can I get a cup of tea? Is that a poltergeist? Actually, it looks kind of poltergeisty. Ah, Mesprit's plume. So the legends told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but all this makes no sense to me. These Pokemon represent our minds, and they'll give us this thing, and it'll let us bind the world and solve all this mess, but how? Why? Your doubts suggest a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the world, very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation, exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. Pixels on the screen, man. I get it even less now. Such are myths, my child. Teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves. On the nature of Almighty Sinnoh. And on the nature of the world in which we dwell. This is some deep stuff for a Pokemon game. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we will get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of success to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. She's not wrong. It's an antique tea set. Alright. How do I rest my Pokebands? Can I steal some corn? How's the team looking? Everybody's full, but I don't know if that's because I healed them. Oh no, we're all healed. Okay. Alright, Adam and to the Crimson Myelands. Uh, I think Bogbound Camp is the closest. I think. The amount of hours I've spent running around these maps, you would think I would know them better than I do. Alright, if I fly to the Diamond Settlement, I can then head to Lake Fella.
It's alright, I'm not actually visiting guys, I'm just passing by. There we go. Let's ride. And pick up these cast fans. And sneezle our way over a mountain. Alright, so I'm fairly safe that there's not going to be an entry cutscene for this place. So let's go swimming. Looks like the lads are already here. I wonder why they're not showing up. Do I not have a quest marker active? Ah, okay, they expected me to do Lake Acuity next. Interesting. Do you know about Lake Valor? It is said to be formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. There are other theories to say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. The lake is protected by the Pokemon as Elf. When his Elf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts. Oh, well, that is what the legend would have us believe. And God opens the way. Thank you, Arceus. It bothers me that the phone is slightly off-center with that symbol. Oh, a cave appeared where there was none. As if just for Ronan Tear. In we go, Ronan Tear. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. If there is a strong Pokemon, how did it get in here? How did that Gudra get into the other cave? Has it just been locked in there for eternity waiting for me to rock up? That feels uncomfortable. Did it start out as a Gumi and just evolve over time? Let's see what we're up against. Overquill. Uh, ghost poison? Watch it, Ronan dear. I've heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills, they're venomous. So we're not sending out Adam. He's gonna go well against a poison type. And I feel like everybody's weak to it. Let's go with Marcus. You do not look like a happy fishy. <laughs> I like the cry though, I appreciate that. Can I catch you? And the game's prepared to let me try. Oh, you are still a water type. Sorry, Marcus. I'm gonna need to sacrifice you. Oh, I could have healed you, but I'm mean. Hey, well done, Marcus. Fighting that Avalog gave you some edges, huh? You did good, boy. Alright, Cad. Nobody's showing us very effective. Alright, out you go, babe. Ooh, almost there. And recoil damage should take it the rest of the way. level up Adam. That's my Ronin to you. Mysterious presence is once again felt. Hey, Azalf. 
Show me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Ha! I have to throw bombs at you? That's just so cool. Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? I guess you're meant to throw them at Azalf. I can't target you. Interesting. Yeah, disappear if I even get close, aren't you? You'll have a sequence. Yeah, there you are. Did I fail? Will you abandon this folly? I'm not done yet. Why can't I target you? That's just annoying. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not done yet. Little man, you are up against the most determined Pokemon trainer in this world. Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? I'm not through yet. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Do I have to face down Giratina? Is Giratina going to be our bad guy? And he's the one who keeps trying to destroy the world. A Zelf's Fang. Goodbye. Just one more to go. Hey, Zelf. Can I catch you now? I'd like to. I assume all went well, Ronan, to you. Still, I must wonder. Why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Because I have to prove myself worthy. Duh. I guess I can think of two reasons. To keep the chain safe, and to test us. Perhaps you were right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. <laughs> Again, references to Gen 4 I find highly amusing. But having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. You could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, shall we return to Mistress Kagaita's home? Kagaita? Kagita? I'm going to change the pronunciation every time I say it. Let's just agree with that. Wonderful, then we'll see if the good mistress has any more insights to share with us. You have tiny hands in comparison to your head, Volo. So that's Zelf's Fang. A sense of warmth to it. The Pokemon of the lakes are... strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed. Yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. 
things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's being glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Komodo Kamado has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it, Ronin Tear. There's no time to lose. We've got one material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold too. Watch? Is that really all you do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. Okay, we're all fully healed. Am I going to have to go up against the commander? That feels like a bad idea. I wonder if I could have thrown a sticky glob at his elf. I am headed for the Alabaster Icelands. I've only got one camp up here. If there was a second one, I'd never worked out where it is. And... Lake Acuity. Okay, so we can go from the Pearl Settlement. There it is. Can I just climb up here? I seem to remember this... Get off the tree! I seem to remember this just being a dead end. Like a, um... Can't go further... Fog block. I might be misremembering, it looks like. Hi there. Don't mind me. Just trying to save the world. Nothing important here. And... No dice. Hey lads. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it contains seawater as well. No one knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Yixie. When Yixie took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. Conveniently timed phone call... Zappy zappiness. Everybody's shocked at the existence of a cave. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there, protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Now let's see what's waiting for us. Ooh! Uh... Poison... Ghost? I know you don't need me to tell you this, Ronantir, but I'm still gonna say it. Be careful around that thing. Um... Let's start with Cad.
Hello, Mega Emo Werewolf. Ah, start now buffing yourself, okay. Well, Cecil's Edge is apparently avoidable. <laughs> I see it again. Well done, Cad. You're amazing. Best starter ever! At least till I try the other two. Knew you could do it. Alright, mysterious presence in the form of Yixi. What have you got for me this time? Come, I will test your knowledge. Oh dear. Combi, Zubat, Anon, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are there eyes? Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Combi, Zubat, Zubat. What was the order? Um, Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Sorry, just playing back bits to myself. So Combi has one set of eyes in each honeycomb. Zubat don't have eyes. There was a whole quest about that. Uh, who was next? Unknown. Unknown have one. Uh, Magneton... Have three, one for each of the Magnemites. And Dusclops has one eye, but it's got sort of a partition in its head. Yay! Whew! Yixi's Claw. Looks like a tablet to me. Bye! That's it. You've completed the trials of the Three Lakes. Sorry, gang. I did say this would be a talking one. This cave seems longer than it did when I came in. It seems we've finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told we should head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. Okay, where are they? Crimson Marlins? And there were a couple of caves around that we couldn't get into. I don't remember this being called the Shrouded Ruins, do I? I probably do. The Shrouded Ruins. Looks like we've got Reggie's Arceus. Reggie Gigas. Another Arceus. 
Something that looks like a spiel? Maybe Heatran? That could be Darkrai and Manaphy. So that would then be Palkia. That's Giratina. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. Could it also be a sweet moon? That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it could be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Hey kids! Ah, the three Pokemon of the lakes. That is a cool necklace. We have the red chain. Thanks, gang! You're awesome, butter bye. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Ronantia. Yet things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. When... It seems the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? What's he gonna do? Suplex it to death? Well, he doesn't know yet. He doesn't yet know that our Ronin Tear has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's right. We've got to let him know it'll be alright now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see the re see reason then, and call off his foolhardy plan. Um, aren't I banished? Maybe I can throw him into the rift. That'll close it. Piece of the past swapped for a piece of the future. Huh? Wait, Rudentier, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass by right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be alright. Wait one second. I've got to go let the captain and the professor know you're back. Oh, my dear Rudentier. Professor, I know you've been worried about Ronan to you, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying. Do not mock your elders if you please, Ray. <laughs> Besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? You, you didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him. Anyway, where's Captain Silane? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mount of work, I'm afraid. Where to join her in the Survey Corps office? It seems her hands are more full now that Commander Komodo is gone. He's gone? Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself. 
including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the security corps folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. Commander's an idiot. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. I owe it to Adaman. No doubt your own past deeds earned you any help you may have received. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. I visited these lakes. Go on. Etc, etc. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Komodo is no longer here in Jubilife Village. The Security Corps has been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they've reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokémon. It could be an Ultra Beast. The Commander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountains so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. Shouldn't I have run into them? Didn't I just come from there? It's like just across the way from the... never mind. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Ronan Tia's help. When did I become the saviour of the universe? As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Ronan Tia, take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Atop Mount Coronet. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. Are you actually going to smile? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Come on, just one little cheeky grin. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Is, is the Survey Corps just three of us? Naturally, no one suggested you should not. And seriously, is the Survey Corps just the three of us? A Lucario has a mission for me? Okay. I'm Rai. And you are? Hi. Okay, you're Ronan Tia. Nice to meet you. Roof. What is it, Lucario? It seems Lucario sensed your strong aura too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? I can, but not right this second. Can, can I do it after I've saved the world? Thanks. Should I do it before I save the world? Do I really want to save the world? And that question's been a long time coming. Everyone's assuming that I will save the universe for them. Or from them. But do I really want to? I guess we'll find out the answer to that in our next episode. Until then, this is Rhoda Tears signing off, and I will catch you soon.